Hey YouTube, this video is going to be on throwing knives and be dexterous. Um, before I begin the tutorial, I want to show you uh, a good entry throw into throwing and be dexterous. In my opinion, the easiest left-handed throw is going to be a backhand throw. Notice with the backhand throw, you get to keep your normal stepping action and your torso rotation. It's a very natural feeling throw. It feels very similar to your traditional right-handed throw. All right, now let's start with overhand. Okay, now when you're being to throw ambidextrous, you want to do everything um, opposite of what you normally throw. You want your right foot forward, and uh, you want to keep the throws linear at first. What I mean by linear is just straight up and down. Normally, when you throw uh, rotational throwing, we'll like to you know cut it off in an angle like a natural baseball throw. But you want to try to keep it linear to start with. All right, your hand starting out a very close distance, maybe two yards or so. You want to do this several times so you get the feel for it. Alright, here's some handle throws. Same thing. One thing you want to do is try to keep your release as natural as possible and let the knife slide out. Um, when I was throwing uh, left-handed, I realized that I wanted to have more snapping, abrupt relief release. But you want to continue um, to let the knife slide out of your hand rather than just snap your hand open. All right, now I'm going to try to add more natural look to the throw. Um, if you ever notice, if, when you try to throw something. Uh, it often feels awkward when you throw the left hand. And it usually has to do with the elbow flaring out too much or too less to that side. One way I like to uh, control this is to look at my arm through my peripheral. If you can see, compare um, the motion of your right arm to your left arm. Just watch the arm motion out of the corner of your eye to see, you know, do I see my wrist and the elbow or do I just see the elbow? or, And just try to mimic that on the left side. Here's some uh, handle throws, one rotation. This is a blade throw from farther back. Half spin. Alright, now for some no spin throwing. Again, um, you're going to want to keep it linear. What I mean is straight up and down. Start out at a point blank distance just to get the feel for the throw. Once you use that, slowly progress back. One thing um, I like to think about is just don't try to overthink it. Face it, make it a natural arm motion. Just relax and throw the knife. Don't worry so much about accuracy. Um, if you have a big target, great. Um, you know, if not, work with what you have. But just relax and don't overthink the mechanics of the throw too much. Alright, here I'm going to chain some stuff together. Um, I'm going to show you my, give you a really ugly look at my knives real quick. It's, I have a Gilliban tan, two Gilliban Tantos. One of the handles is taped up so it's handle heavy. A Cold Steel True Flight and a Cold Steel Pro Flight. One of the cool things about throwing ambidextrous is if uh, you want to do some tricks or whatever and go from the right hand to the left hand, it's much easier to have a background uh, throwing left handed. Well, thanks for watching.